Let's see how low I can talk. Ah, it's early in the morning. I'm trying to do my routine. Here it is. I'm doing a blood work this morning at about 11. Um, I like it. I like it. I feel like I could take this on the go with me. And um, I can leave my other rings here. So in box. I haven't labeled the dividers. I put these little... Um, they're from Amazon. They look like, like this got a whole bunch of them, so I just kind of cut them up. Um, so I put those along the side here. So this one here is my babies. I just I love looking at that. And so here is today. I will do that soon. Next is the weekly. I kind of did this yesterday. Here is today. I'm going to write my blood work at 11 a.m. Isaac is off. My husband is off. I don't know. They said it was some kind of off day for his school. My husband just took off because he needed to. And then here is like tracking. So. <sighs> I'm gonna shoot one more time for keto. Then this is pretty cool because somebody gave me this. It's from Mini Joy. And it's a habit tracker. And I thought to do my mood from a monthly perspective. So this won't start till May. And then I found this in my stash, which I'm so sad for because I would have had plotted all the stuff down for the whole year. And I'm really thinking about going back. What? Girl, relax. Um, Maya, she's over here like mom. <laughs> and plotting everything down. My weight, just like all kinds of stuff. So I don't know, I might completely do that. And then here is like an area for myself, motherhood, being a wife, like all the things. Um, somebody gave me this. It's like a little self-care, your current mood. I was able to do these things, quote of the day. I'm proud of myself for, I think that is a really good reflection. So put that there. And then the next one is faith. Um, just scriptures, pictures of my family, kids, and then I thought like quotes or affirmations or prayers or whatever. And then the last section is more like lists, any long-term list. So whatever I do like over here, right here. I should probably put this at the bottom because I'm not going to recognize it at the top. Um, so this is some ideas that I'm working on. If it makes it to like a permanent list, I'll put it towards the back. So this is like a great system for me when I'm on the go. And then this is just a notepad. This did not come with it. That's KDK. And it is so slimlined and so nice that I love it. And then I feel like this could be just like a supplement to 
my um, home planning. So the bed got delivered. Um, what did we do yesterday before I set this up? I filmed, oh my gosh, I filmed all the freaking videos. I think I filmed four videos, you guys, like a crazy woman. And then I'm going to put final facts, personal, arrived, and then Isaac bought concert tickets for next week. So that ends this week. And then the beauty of this is if I do not want to do a weekly in here, because it's not dated, I don't have to. I could do a weekly in here because this is dated. So that is that. And the same thing with the dailies. They're undated. So I do not have to feel pressure to do anything. Uh, my monthly is for long-term planning. So... I could, you know, put this here and figure out if I want to do this on the go, if I want to, like, what I want to do. But for my main system, I've got to uh, put in my tracker. Um, I will try to see if I could show you guys how last week turned out again a lot of things have been coming becoming really personal in my main planner um next month i'm going to take out my journaling so that way it could be more focused on my planning um in here so that way i can show you guys a whole lot more um because i feel that i do not film a lot on this book and it is my main system. So I'm going to see if that will work next month. And then that way you guys could see a whole lot more. So let's go back. So the first, so how it works is I check off my day. Because today's the 15th of April, tax day. You know. I, I, this is a monthly perspective, okay? And this is just like a to buy to do area. Whenever I fill this up, I'll take this off and same with this. And then I've got a monthly. And then I've got tasks and personal goals. So this is like home and this is me. So I got some beat earbuds, not cute. Gave them to my son and I got my AirPods back. I need to do the eye exams, try to get this weight off. Um, renew my driver's license, um, all this stuff for the kids, fun times. So then here starts my week. This always starts my week. So here's week one, here's week two, and then now here goes week three. So I have morning pages and prayers, food log, this is homeschool, just notes, then, um, Brain down and then weekly and then here comes dailies these were really private i think i went ahead and did the private stuff i covered it so then here is last week morning pages and affirmations instead of prayers and then food dog. This just was a wash. Homeschool. Brain dump. Weekly. And then I'm going to flip through fast because I did not cover anything. And then this was just um, some notes on the video I filmed on, you know, just if you're stressed out planning wise. And then here's this week. So I go always go back to my following week. I spent $22 last week, which was on the five of X. So I always put if I spend any money on planners or anything like that. I just want to know how much. If I film, we did two days of homeschooling. 
so I track that. I don't need to track gratitude, journal. I do want to track if I'm walking. <clears throat> I will track if I'm keto. Oh, shoot, I forgot my medication. This is just always what happens when I take cholesterol medication and anxiety medication in the morning. It's in. <laughs> so, for home, I washed her hair. So, I, I put when I go get any kind of groceries, and that's like online or in the store, when I wash her hair, so wash day is always once a week, but sometimes I try to not track it, being that it's once a week, but then I forget when I did it. Because I don't have, but I used to have specific days and they were always kind of like on a Sunday, but then that changed because she's having a lot more issues with her, her hair and she has a lot of sensory issues when it comes to it, like the water in her eyes, the water in her ears, the water on her head, then, you know, brushing her hair and combing her hair. It's just a whole thing. She, it always stems anxiety attacks and all kinds of stuff and it's uh, meltdowns and it sucks. So I always track if I cook and I floss and if I wash her body. Cause there's some days where we all use wipes. I mean, she's not really doing much. So, but I wanna know when she's full fledged, submerged in the water. <laughs> Rings, I will track that. This week I'm gonna go into the cousin or introduce it again and see if I wanna play in that. So, see how my, my moods here are expanding? It's fine, I could still use it like that. So, I do want to track if I have had no energy. I'm trying to track if I'm happy or positive. That's different for me. So, happy is like, okay, I'm generally in a like, okay, yay, I'm smiling, having fun, laughing. Positive is if I'm talking positive. So positive talk, I guess. Um, peaceful, where I'm just like neutral, there's no issues. And then here comes the other ones. So anxious, sad, mad, moody, hyper. My hyper fixations and my hyper, like, whoa, honey, calm down. Like the energy, like the hyper energy. That's a part of my ADHD. And then panic. Brain fog. Oh my gosh, I get that so much. It's kind of funny. And then meh. The days where I'm just like, it is what it is. It is what it isn't. It's, it's whatever. So morning pages. <clears throat> I haven't done anything yet. Um, normally it's just like, you know, filming. Drink coffee, dealt with pets, everyone is off, home, and I am getting my routine done online. <laughs> and then I did introduce prayers back. Because some, there are some times where I need prayers visualized. So, you know, Lord, steady my mind, body, and spirit, Father. Thank you. For waking me up and my family amen so I'm gonna be real real here you know I'm real I get a lot of anxiety and fear and intrusive thoughts at night and then waking up in the morning so at night it, it's always surrounded on 
if someone's going to stop breathing, if someone's going to pass in their sleep, if someone's going to, you know, you know, I'll check my husband's breathing. Did they have a heart attack? Did my kids be okay? Is Deja fine? Like all that crap. And then when I wake up in the morning, I have this fear, like, do I, I need to go check them? So I'll check the monitor. I'll open the door in my son's room just to see if he's okay. I'll shut the door in my daughter's room to see if she's fine because I like to give her privacy and then, you know, check my husband. It's just the worst of the worst. So if people are like, oh yeah, my OCD. No, 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 ma'am. <laughs> True OCD is a nightmare. Nobody loves talking about it. It's a nightmare, okay? A living nightmare. So, um, yeah, sometimes I need that. But then, then I'll get into obsessive praying. Then I have to count the amount of times I pray. And then I'm like, oh, it's just... <clears throat> so, I'm going to write right here, bar with coffee. And then I had my probiotic. And then I had my anxiety medication. And then I had my cholesterol. Normally I don't write it, but sometimes I need to see it. I still need to take my vitamin D and C and allergy meds. So let's put it. I've got my stuff back over here. Some of it at least. I've got a whole bunch. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see? I've got my little thing right here. So in here, I've got my girl, girl stickers, post-its, and then my labels, dividers, all kinds of like lip gloss and all that. So that has to stay. Um, I had it over there. <sighs> it just didn't work. And then occasionally, if you hear me go silent, just bear with me, because yeah. <laughs> so I like using these girls. If I could get them off. This this is the let me tell you the ones from AliExpress are horrible for peeling off, but the ones on Amazon, they're pretty decent. So I'm gonna work on my hydration. My box breathing. Walking, yoga, yoga, the wall Pilates yoga has been pretty decent, but I fell off of it and I just want to try to incorporate that again. So that's my food, health log, homeschool, oh man y'all, it's been, it's been rough, somebody's getting up might be my husband he's like I'm gonna do taxes early in the morning I'm like oh my gosh dude okay cause the kids wanna go to do some stuff and I'm like honey poor guy he's always got we've got like <laughs> things that kinda work for us together and then against us together cause he's got attention issues as well I have the hyper component um, he's got the other just before they merged them and then uh, it's just a lot he fixates on a lot of stuff too so fun times right okay so brain dump is the biggest thing here I tried last week to put in a different week daily and that is going to stem how this daily looks I like the schedule smaller so I could just write out like what we did and then I like the top to do's and like an afternoon and the notes and then like, I don't know so I'm going to try that too <clears throat> so let's go and get the brain dump stuff so my brain dump is the pivotal part of my planning. That is one of the biggest things that I incorporated 
years ago that really stuck with me. I'm a lister, okay? I list and list and list. But I wanted an area where I could have as a safe place where I, and I just labeled it brain dump. Like, okay, I go have, I have so much stuff going through my brain every single day, every single minute. And I need a place that's going to keep it there. That not necessarily to kind of do everything on it. You know, maybe I could, maybe I couldn't, but just for like, do you remember that you need to get the escape car, the service done on the escape? So our door and window is having issues and I need to get that scheduled. I need to do the summer college tours. And if I don't do it now, it's going to book up, probably already booked up. I need some summer clothes for the kids all of them <laughs> we do our spring is this in frame yeah we do our spring family pictures they kind of coincide with like easter spring before summer i need to put money on my son's lunch account so that's what i'm gonna put on monday because that's gotta go he's off work i mean school so i can put it on there so change and see how I've been migrating that for like two to three weeks. I try to put it every like month, but I've been migrating that and I've waited to the very last minute where they're texting me and they're like, hey, there's no money on here. I really, really, really need to look into this hormone vitamin. And today I'm finally going to do my blood work for my hormones. <laughs> I need to get Sophia a bike or like a a big wheel or like a something with three wheels she can't really do the or like a scooter she can't really do the actual two wheel bike she can't drive it um i want a tablecloth for here oh i need to clean my fountain pens which it's been like a year honestly it's just not good um schedule my blood work i did finally add the charger i don't need to I need charger upstairs no more magnets for daiso i still want to get those they're like a buck if i can remember monthly mail plan insert oh i'm gonna put that here i want that to put that in my rings so from a perspective of what are you guys eating all month I want to look at it from a monthly per perspective and see okay because I already track if I cook I already put on my dailies what we eat every day what I end up doing do I go out did I cook I want to see how many days I'm actually cooking in a month we're going out every month I know it's gonna hurt my feelings, but I need to see it. So reschedule DPS. So I had my appointment scheduled for my driver's license. It doesn't expire until August, but of course I need to do it months and months in advance because you know the cops are gonna stop me and they're gonna say, your driver's license expired in August. And I'm gonna say, this is just what goes through my head. I'm like, well, no one's gonna stop you. But anyways, whatever schedule that so I got the blood work when I was wanting to do my blood work I was doing it I was supposed to do it the day I got my pap smear but it was closed and I was like crap because I like to get stuff done while I'm there because if not I'm never gonna go back I promise you so I need a tarp for outside or a solution for the swings because when it gets too hot, she won't go out there. And so we need somewhere to cover it. I still need to resize my wedding ring. <laughs> wedding. Because I've been wearing my, this one. Because again, my hands are swollen. I've been horrible at eating and I want that new health watch tracks my blood pressure it's on amazon where in spring do you want to return what oh the spring tn so i got that tn from 
Carpe Diem, it's the blue one. And I was like, do you want to return it? It's still in the box, but I'm like, no, I can't seem to get myself to return it. <laughs> so that's what how my brain dump looks. So now I can go through and be like, okay, like I'll put some of this stuff in my Amazon cart to remind me I still need to get Isaac's deodorant. He gets this specific kind. I don't know how to spell it. Walmart order. So that's that. And then here goes the week. I'm going to put Hudson Isaac off. I'm going to put tax. Taxes. <laughs> Do there. Um, he's got an appointment. There's this. And we got an allergy shot. So I use this to maintain the whole home, everybody's appointments, everybody's things to keep me aware of what's going on. So I did schedule blood work. So now I'm going to put that, where is my pink? That I'm going to make you better go. You better get your butt going because your husband is off and this will be the perfect day. You don't need to fast. You just got to give it to them. Just go. And I'm also nervous too because I'm so scared they're going to finally say, you're in menopause. <laughs> and I don't, I already know, but I'm just like, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> and I don't want to hear them say, okay, hey, you need these type of hormones. <laughs> So, um, that's the top to-dos. So, the biggest thing, too, is fold the laundry. Then here, um, groceries and that tarp solution. Tarp, since my husband is home, he could figure it out. So, yeah, here's next week, which is the last week. Is it the last week? Yeah, it's the last week in this book. Um, I'm over here. All of this has been filled out. This is journaling. So this is journaling for this week and next week. Should last me. And then I will be done with this book. And then I have my health log. So my health log is the date, who it's for. I think this is Isaac and this is Deja. Yeah. And then notes. So. <sighs> that is my system. <laughs> and it's from a monthly perspective. I already have. Uh oh. May. So I, I told myself that I'm going to journal in a separate book. I'm going to journal in a separate book. And then over here, I'm going to do nothing but my main planning. And this is all in, this is a half year um, Stology. And this is a Tomo River Paper insert TN that I cut down. So we shall see, friends. Thanks for watching. God bless you and happy Monday.